Okay, welcome to my very first video walkthrough for Final Fantasy XIV. Today we are doing the Gold Saucer Seasonal Event, which they have brought in. Now, to start off with, I'm just teleporting to the right location when I get there. Now, here we are, main area. Now, we talk to Olia in Wonder Square to start off this event. Now, I'm pretty much just going to skip through all of the different um, uh, text files. If you want to pause the video to read them, you can, but you'll read them when you do it yourself. So, this is just so you know where all the items are so that you can get the correct course through this seasonal quest which is quite cute oh no someone has screamed let's go find out what's going on so basically you know just turn left from here out of the cutscene and straight up the stairs bit of sprinting turn left and go talk to Oliver Oliver Olia again to start this event well, to continue the event, we've already started it. Another cutscene, dead guy on the floor. Boo hoo. Alright. Yep, dead guy on the floor. In comes Roland, what's going on? Yep, dead guy on the floor. What? No. Typical Roland. Help us. We always help. That's what we're here for. Okay. Now we have to work out who did it. Was it Miss Bunny Ears? Was it the waiter serving the food? Or was it the distraught wife? Who killed the guy? So basically... The, this event is centered around no general entries so you've got to try and work it out yourself it's not overly hard it's just a matter of finding the clues so you start off by talking to these three um, you don't have to find any clues if you don't want to you can literally just talk to these three talk to Olia and then just go straight to the accuse accuse one of the three and and end it you can do this event however many times you want so you can accuse everyone involved I suppose and see different cutscenes um, but we're just going to concentrate on you know doing this the correct way to get through so we've talked to Olia and he said okay go find the clues the first clue is the serving tray so you go up, have a look at the serving tray you don't have to look at the dead body but I do just something to do and then the first witnesses we talk to are over here, the Lalafell. Who said the guy liked to gamble. And then the Rogadon. And because he said that he likes to gamble, um... From here, we just go straight over to the cat pot board. Because there's a young lady over here we need to talk to. Teleporting around is just a little bit easier. And of course, this is a PlayStation made video so I've only got 15 minute segments each time to be able to do this so we talk to her then we go to the entrance and card square where there is one clue and two people to talk to so from there we go into the triple triad area just turn left behind the couch here is the clue Lovely. 
All right, from here we just go back out, turn right, and just at the entrance here is the young lady we need to talk to here. Talk to her. And then we just come straight across, around the side, or over, over here, and we talk to this guy sitting here. I think it's a guy. Yep, that's a guy. Talk to him. And then we've got one more clue and one more person to talk to. Sorry, two more clues. First clue, come out of there, up the ramp into Round Square. And if, as you come across Round Square, you'll see a deflated Sabatenda. So it's a Sabatenda costume. Another, that's another clue. And now we go to Event Square, which leads us to our last witness. So just come back down here, take another left. No, not that way. Over to the other gaming machines across the way, where the last witness is. And this guy says that he saw the whole thing and basically took a piece of evidence with him, so he gives you this glass. It's not actually an item, you don't actually get it. It just you know, implies that you have it. And now we need to go all the way around. Not this ramp. That's not the ramp I wanted. That one just goes straight back to the central area. So this is the ramp I want, where we find the last clue. And when you find the last clue, whether it be the item or talking to someone, doesn't matter which, it actually says you have now found everything. It's just up to you to go piece it back together. I think I pause here to let show you. Yep, pause. So that says, yeah, we found everything. Now go put it back together and go back, talk to Olia. Now when you come back to Olia, you can, um, you have two options to either accuse or talk to him about the um, clues that you found. So you can talk to him about every clue and he just gives a, a brief description about, it doesn't really, you don't need to, but if you want to, you know, just for completion's sake, check it out. So we talk to Olia and we choose the first one, which is the killers among us. I'm going to expose them now. Yes, I am sure, which starts the cutscene. Okay, which one of the three did it? Who are we going to accuse? And the answer is... Oh no, sorry, we're not accusing yet. We're saying, how did it happen? It was in the drink. How do you know it was in the drink? Because the smell. Third option. And that's just to say, yep, you've chosen correctly. Everyone, okay. When? We choose option three, while the food and drink was already on the table. It's like, how do you know that? Or how? Because of the small vial we found. Option three again. And again, confirmation that you've chosen correctly. Now it's the accusing stage. Who are we going to accuse? Which one of the three did it? 
We choose none of them. It was option one, the Sabatenda. What? And then we choose option three, the real killer, the Lalafell, the first guy we talked to in the Sabatenda suit. So in he walks to face his accuser, us. He's like, why would I do that? And we pick option one because you had no money from your gambling. He agrees, yes, I have no money, but how is that a motive? It's like it wasn't a motive. Option two, Roland put you up to it. Yes, the gold source's own Roland was behind the whole thing. And he's like, no, it wasn't Claire. No, it wasn't Claire. Oh, okay. Well done. You figured it out. Okay, and now in walks Roland to explain everything. Yes, it was him. And he's not dead. <laughs> Just a sleeping potion. This was the new event that they let you preview. Which is interesting. I'd like to see if they actually do more of these. It'd be good if they do. Little murder mysteries. I know a lot of people have been talking about snowboarding at the Gold Saucer, which I thought was a bit weird. Can't say I wouldn't mind that either, but... I don't see any snow in the desert. <laughs> all right, everyone congratulating you. End of cutscene. So all you do now is you talk to Olia to finish it off. He walks away and then we just jump over the railing, head to our character's right, around the circle to where Olia where we first started the whole thing and as you can see there's the end of the quest and that's what you, where you come every time no matter what you choose but if you don't choose this correct way this cutscene is different all you see is Olia and Roland whereas the correct way you see Olia Roland and Godbert comes in Not that you need to, you don't need to, you know, you can just do it the right way once and be done with it. But without finding all the clues, you won't be able to get through the, um, make the right choices to get to this stage. So you've got to talk to all of the witnesses and get all the clues. He says his farewells. And that's it. Seasonal quest complete. Now as you can see, two bubbles. Olia will allow you to redo the entire thing from scratch, which will give you 10 more fireworks and another token. You can buy fireworks and the housing item from her. And to get the emote and a few more tokens, I think it's five more tokens, just talk to this guy. It says it's a quest, but I mean, what, you know, How's it a quest to talk to him, walk down the ramp, turn left, and talk to another guy? That's not a quest. That's a waste of time. But, oh well. There you go. Come back to the main counter to grab your new emote and the Eureka emote. That's it. And the achievement unlocked Gold Digger. Okay, my very first helping video done for Final Fantasy. Hope this helps someone. Alright, good luck and take care.